Hey everybody. So what we have here is a rusty bucket full of stuff I picked up. Um, I figure they've got unboxing videos, so we'll have a unbucketing video. So we'll just start going through here. We got some old chuck jaws. Looks like two of them. Maybe we find three here as we go. A couple old files. Bastard cut, mill cut. They're not in terrible shape. Uh, double end wrench. Ford. Oh, Ford. That might. That's fancy. Old car wrench. Old gear cutter. Doesn't look like it's in. Well, that might be usable. Um, burned up countersink. Super cool. Ah, tool holder. A little too small for what I got, but you never know. There's a file. There's a reamer. Yep. Now, I got this bucket because I saw a bunch of studs and clamps in it, and I don't have a clamp set, and this was a cheap way to get one. So we got a nice step there, some studs, more step, some clamps. Oh, I see something. I see something in here. We'll get down there in a little bit. Some clamps, steps, clamps, steps. So mostly a bucket. Clamps, looks like steps, T nuts. There we go. We need some of those. Maybe a couple of different sizes of clamps in here. Oh, burned up countersink. Oh, I'm seeing some other stuff. Clamps. Get down there. T nuts and clamps. Handy. Step, step, clamp, clamp. Ooh, this is a good bucket. This is a good bucket. Studs, always gotta have more studs. We'll clean those up in a little bit. Oh my lord. Clamps. <laughs> Look at that. Little boring head. Little criterion. Uh, I think it's a criterion. Little tiny boring head. Straight shank, three quarter. You got a little tool in it. That's cool. We'll have to clean that up. Oh, vice jaw. Super handy. Look at that. Cat 40 end mill holder. 7 8 1 inch, somewhere in there. Um, doesn't say whose it is. Oh, no. It's got some fret marks on it, but clean it up. I might be able to use that. Oh, mother. Looky there. That's a three inch boring head criterion. That's a good one. Cat 40, three inch boring head. Four inch boring head. I don't know. It's big. That's super cool. Look at that. This is a good bucket. Oh, there's something else. Super really cool. Look at that. I just needed a face mill. I wonder if I can still get uh, Seco. I might still be able to get inserts and hardware for this. So I'll have to go looking for that. Because so that'll work really good on that Van Norman. It's a good deal. Now we got clamps. clamps. Um, another wrench. It's just a standard wrench. Another little Cat 40 holder. Let's say who it is. I'll have to bath these and get the rust off them. I'll probably do a video on that. Because um, you can get the rust off these pretty good. We'll get them polished back up to where I feel like they're good to use. Well, end mill. That's just what I needed. Well, 3 8 end mill. Ah. Clamps, clamps, studs, clamps. Clamps, clamps, studs. Yeah, good day. That's a good bucket. Clamp. No, that's all she wrote. Just clamps from there. Well, I'll uh, I'll do a video on how I clean this stuff up. If you guys are interested in that, and we'll clean up those boring heads. Um, maybe we'll use some of this stuff later on.